Oh, look at that ball. Oh, swerve. Oh, that's a clip right there. <laughs> oh, bike. Oh, we don't need it. Oh, whippage. Perfect. Oh, what a finish. Yeah, you didn't. That close? Uh-huh. Dunk. Goal. Yep. <laughs> yep. Lenny. Bike. Oh. 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 Step. Step. You guys not even thinking about it. Oh. Back post you, maybe? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Bike! Oh. Ebra! Oh my gosh! It's like against England, but inside the box. Wow. Maybe I should have, like, called What's crazy is computer didn't even follow me. It's really all you. I just gotta shoot it. Oh, dirty! Oh. A little touch around him. Oh, look at that scoop turn. Oh, the chip. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Wait, I'm gonna make him think you're going to meet. <laughs> you think you're trying to no! find the back pass, but really you're never bad. He doesn't know. Pin? Pin. Oh my gosh, I was a little lucky, but we'll take it. I'm gonna get some experience. Yes. Oh, that's just building. Oh! Yikes. <laughs> Embarrassed in front of all his friends. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna do the whole team. It's not even. That's not even the any. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Lesky, and I'm back with another player build for FIFA 22 Pro Clubs. In this video, we're gonna be going over a winger build. Haven't posted very many winger builds to my channel at all. And I've seen a few requests asking for like a best winger build, so I thought I'd post this video for you guys. So looking at the height and weight. You can kind of go a few options, a few ways with like a winger build. I decided to just go as small as possible, 5'4", 99 pounds. But there is some downsides to that. Obviously, you're a little bit faster. The dribbling's better, like the agility and that kind of stuff. Uh, but when it comes to finishing, when you actually go taller, the finishing actually gets better as a winger. So you don't have to go 5'4". Pretty much everything will be the same on the skill tree if you want to go up in height. Like I could recommend like 5'8", 5'10". Um, if you want to go even taller, you can go six foot. Just keep in mind the dribbling, like the agility might not be as good and the pace will be lower, of course, um, if you go higher than 5'4". So I decided to just go 5'4", and then 99 pounds will get us that high agility mark and the faster pace also. So that's what I went for. And then I am righty, doesn't really matter, whichever you prefer for your preferred foot. Um, now let's take a look at the perk page. Before we dive into the perks for this winger build, a lot of the clips in this video will be from my teammate who was using this winger build, and then a lot of them will be from me also. I later switched to this winger build, and we were both using the winger build at the same time, and our other teammate was playing as a striker using majority of the time, I believe he was using my Lewandowski build, which was very good in the air and is a good combo while having uh, both of us using this winger build out wide on both sides of the field. It was actually very clutch. So for the first perk, we have Pinpoint Cross. So if you have a bigger guy, kind of like what I was saying with our strategy, we had that Lewandowski build. If you have a bigger guy up top that's good in the air, you, the Pinpoint Cross will be even more important. I still think you should have it, even if you don't that have a big guy up top. I think Pinpoint Cross is still good. Just for that early crosser trade, it's extremely cr clutch. And it'll also give you the swerve trade, add more bend on the crosses. Uh, flare trade, so you can do like fancy crosses. But... Uh, very important, it gives you the five star weak foot. So I was playing left winger, but I was right footed, and my teammate was playing on the right side of the field, um, and he was left footed. So every time we crossed it with our weak foot, it didn't matter because it gives you the five star weak foot on this perk. And I definitely think you should try out the pinpoint cross with this winger build. It'll be solid, especially if you have a bigger target man up top playing striker. For the second perk slot, you can kind of switch this out and try some different things. But we ended up switching it to threaded pass because we think that was just the best thing for this build. Because a lot of times you'll be hitting through balls over the top to the strikers or the other winger or midfielders running in behind. And just having a threaded pass is very nice. Gives you the five star weak foot and just increases your passing and vision. Even if like the long passing and vision isn't very good on the skill tree, it seems like it just upgrades it a lot and just makes your passes almost perfect. 
because of that five star weak foot. And I really think the swerve trait is underrated. Adds a lot more bend to the passes and curls away from the defenders and leads your attackers run onto the through ball perfectly at times. I think the threaded pass is the best perk for this spot. But we were also tried when we first started this build out, we tried set piece specialists. A lot of you guys might not have this unlocked. So you might want to try a threaded pass or if you don't have threaded pass, you could try precision pass. Um, but this is a level 25. So you have to have max skill points and be max level to get set piece specialist. But we tried it out because we're playing wingers and a lot of times you'll be taking throw-ins as wingers. And we wanted to try out the giant throw-in that it gives you. It says it gives you giant throw-in, power driven free kicks, long throw-in, and then the set piece specialist trait, which what that does, uh, like when you're taking uh, free kicks, the little cursor, taking corner kicks, little cursor, like won't move like when you let go of the right stick. And it's actually very nice to place it exactly where you want to on corners and set pieces. So that's also good. We actually got a few assists from corners using the set piece specialist, but we really just wanted to try it because of the giant throw-in because you can take a lot of throw-ins as wingers, but we just really didn't run into like throwing the, getting that many throw-ins. We thought we'd get a lot more, but we ended up getting some and we just didn't get it to work. We got it to work a lot in like FIFA 20 and I believe FIFA 21 with the giant throw-in. So it can work if you want to give it a try instead of threaded pass you can, it's not too bad of an option. Um, and then maybe you could try active first touch if you'd like, that would also be another good one. Um, so you could try active first touch, set piece specialist if you don't feel like you need threaded pass or pinpoint cross. Those are like the ones I would suggest you could try. Um, and then the third perk, which is probably the most important is tireless runner. And I say that because wingers just have terrible stamina to start with. I think it's like 68 or something and we only have like 70 we upgraded it like plus two and we use a lot of the skill points elsewhere so we're really relying on the tireless runner perk giving that boosted stamina in the 75th minute so i definitely have this one on but this is like i think level 23 or something level 23 level 24 i believe it's level 23 is when you unlock it um so a lot of you guys might not have it unlocked but then again, if you're not max level, it'll be kind of hard to make this build exactly what we have because this is a max skill point winger build. So that's the three perks that we have for this winger. Let's move to the skill tree. Starting with the physical page, as I mentioned, the stamina is terrible to start with on wingers. No matter what height or weight you pick, I'm pretty sure it doesn't change at all. And then just like the physical attributes in general are terrible for a winger. But I guess that's like another downside. If you want to be a little bit of a taller winger and have a little bit more weight or something, the physical attributes are going to be pretty bad anyways. That's kind of another reason why I decided to just go 5'4", 99 pounds for this build. But what we did on this top right, just get this plus 2 stamina to get us to 70 stamina, and then plus 4 reactions to get the reactions up a bit, and that'll get us to 87 reactions, which is our best stat. We could have used 3 more skill points to get 73 stamina, and then plus two strength, which you possibly could. If you want, we can go over uh, something that you could take off. I think it would probably be like shot power or something on the dribbling page. You could take off um, in order to get this extra stamina. But I don't know if plus three stamina will really make that much of a difference. 73 compared to 70. We're really just relying on that tireless runner perk, which is why it's kind of a must have for this winger build. Onto the dribbling page. I decided to go for five star skills for this winger build. I'm a huge fan of five star skills. And it's also just nice to have some sort of skills as a winger to create some space to get a cross off, beat your man one on one, get down the end line, sweaty it across the box, get an assist, or possibly even get a shot off. Skills are helpful. So, what you're going to do on this left side is just get this balance, dribbling, and skill moves right here. And then we went for one upgrade of ball control plus two ball control for one skill point. We just didn't get the maestro archetype, not enough skill points where we, we got the links archetype instead for the agility and balance upgrades. And also once we get to the shooting page, you'll see that we have the finisher archetype to upgrade the finishing and just the shooting in general for this winger build, which is needed. Um, so on this right side, you're going to get the skills. You're going to get this balance this agility, and then the links archetype. If you don't want five star skills, you're just gonna use four star skills. Just take one of them off. It doesn't really matter which one. Um, it's not gonna make a difference. And then you can use those skill moves to upgrade the physical or something, or maybe put it on like the passing or 
possibly I think we have like one thing where we don't have max pace. We have like the last sprint speed, I believe. So you could also put it on there if you'd like, if you don't want the five star skills. And if you're using this build as an any, like what you could do instead of this balance is get this attack positioning and agility to get 97 agility. And then it'll boost the attack positioning plus five, which is good for any's since you're a lot of times you're not going to be controlling your your actual player while you're playing any and then it'll maybe it'll make better runs in behind and get in better attacking positioning. So that'll be a pretty good change if you're playing any with this build. Take off that balance and get this agility right here. Um, and also this this balance really isn't necessary for this build. If you want to take this off, like it's only plus three balance and it'll get us to 85 balance instead of 82. You could just use these three skill moves or skill points to put it to this stamina and strength right here. If y'all feel the need to upgrade the stamina more, then y'all could definitely do that. That's another solution if you want more stamina. I believe the winger position is actually the best position in pro clubs in terms of like having a really high agility and just good dribbling stats in general. So this is the dribbling page. Moving to passing, where we only have one skill point on this passing page. We just, use, or actually two skill points, sorry. We have this crossing right here, plus two crossing for two skill points to get us to 84 crossing and it's really all just because we had like two skill points left and we had to put it somewhere so i decided to just put it to this plus two crossing which will help as a winger on top of the pinpoint cross perk that we already have um, and then looking at the base passing stats we have 74 vision 84 crossing 72 long pass 82 short pass and 80 curve so not too bad at all and remember that that threaded pass perk will actually increase our vision and make our through balls better, like when it comes to long passing through balls and short passing through balls. So keep that in mind. The passing stats are actually a little bit better when it comes to through balls for this build. And the two extra skill points that we have allocated to the crossing really isn't necessary since we already have the pinpoint crossing perk on this build, which is quite nice. So if you wanted to, you could take this off. And for the people that don't want five star skills, you could take off take off one of the skills, get four star, and then you would have some extra skill points to spend. You could go extra stamina right here, go back to the dribbling page, and then probably either get this ball control right here, or you could maybe get this agility to get 97 agility. You've never really tried that before, but you could do that. So one of those two, um, and then you would just have to put the extra skill point on short passing like that. So you could do something like that, either agility or ball control, and then put that one extra skill point on short pass. But I'm going to put it back to what I had without the stamina um, and put the five star skills back and then put it back to this plus two crossing right here. If you play on a pro clubs team that likes to play direct and score off of a lot of crosses, this could be a good build for you to try out or maybe for your teammates to try out that play winger because the majority of the time, your assist that you get with this build will come from crosses or at least that's what happened to me and my teammate. Since we were playing a 4-3-3, both of us at winger, and our other teammate was a bigger striker that was good in the air, using the one-time shot perk, and could finish off our chances that we gave to him off of crosses. So this is the passing page. Let's move on to shooting. So we actually have a lot of skill points on the shooting page for this winger build because the base attributes for a winger are very bad, especially a small winger like this one. If we take all the skill points off, you'll see that we only have 68 finishing, 60 shot power, 69 long shots, and 80 volleys. And if you wanted to go up in height, the finishing will actually get better and the shot power. So keep that in mind. But again, like I said, the pace and the dribbling will be a little bit worse. So what we did to improve these stats, we got the finisher archetype. We got the four star weak foot right here and then the long shots and shot power. And then on this left side, we just increase the shot power even more. Both of these will give you plus three shot power and that'll get us up to 75 with 81 finishing, 84 long shots and 89 volleys. I don't think I mentioned on the perk page the distant shooter, but that would be another good perk to try if you don't want one of those other perks. Uh, you could take one of those off and try distant shooter. I just don't take distant shots very much, but as a winger, it could be pretty good cutting in on your actually it doesn't matter i guess as with the distance shooter it gives you five star weak foot so it doesn't really matter what side you're on but either way you can cut in take a long shot like a finesse shot it gives you the finesse shot tray and it'll increase the shot power and long shots even more and that could actually be pretty good as a winger if you want to give that a try but these are the shooting stats not too bad for a winger build and the finisher archetype really does help a lot 
But if you don't feel like you need the finisher archetype, you're not going to have that many chances to score. Then what you could do is take this volleys off and finisher archetype right here. And then maybe just get the maestro and do something like that. And then use those three skill points somewhere else like on stamina or possibly right here on the ball control. I would probably just do it on the stamina if you want to do something like that. And you'll have 99 dribbling and 90 ball control. So you could do that. And then even if you don't want all the shot power, you could take off a lot of the shot power and then put those skill points somewhere else too. So you have some options if you don't want the finisher archetype, but I think it's pretty clutch, especially since a winger, you'll run into some chances where you need to score. Uh, you're in one-on-one -on -one situations, you're getting in the box. Um, it's an attacking position, so it's quite nice to have good finishing ability. So that's why we have the finisher archetype. So that's it for the shooting page. Let's move to the last page, which is pace. We are only missing one thing on this pace page, and that is the plus two sprint speed for three skill points. Don't feel like it's necessary. I'd rather use those three skill points like on shot power or balance. But if, if you want, you could take off that extra shot power or that balance that we have and get that max pace of 96 acceleration and 95 sprint speed. But the 96 acceleration is crazy in combination with the 95 agility and the high dribbling. It's really hard for people to steal the ball off of you. And that's going to do it for this winger build, guys. Please let me know in the comments if you try this build out, how you liked it. Hit that like button on this video for me and hit that subscribe button on my channel if you are not subscribed. I would appreciate that very much. Y'all have a great rest of y'all's day and peace out. Yeah, take your breath. Trust me. You're sweating in your pants. Oh yeah. And they're gonna almost drop his control. You're so sweaty. Flipping right now. Blood waters are flowing. <laughs> We're running the line. Get the throwing, please. Yo, no. Get the throwing. Get the throwing. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna stand here and watch. <laughs> Dude. Bro. Oh, oh man. You absolutely oh. living the crap out of this. Gosh, I should have got a little closer. That angle is not gonna. He's numb now. He's playing numb. computer. Oh yeah. Bang it. Oh, that's all right. I got it. Oh, it gets me. Oh, yeah, pass. I just got trampled. Put that in. Oh, put that in. Oh, get it. Call for it. I got it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, that'll still clip. That's still clip. Yeah, we'll take it. I'm pressing. Gosh, that header would have been awesome. Yo, I we just I had that both hit it off the bar. That volley would have been nuts.